Brett Carstens with the Coon Rapids Bear Crusaders joining us here at the Wildcat Invitational in at Carroll. And Brett, uh, two of your three events out of the way already tonight. Uh, shuttle hurdle earlier tonight. Uh, how'd the shuttle hurdle go for you? Uh, the shuttle hurdle went well. The nice weather helps out. Uh, the wind is calm. So I think everybody uh, ran well. Uh, Stayed pretty low. We've been practicing pretty hard, and we've almost got the school record. So, so far, so good. How close to that school record are you? Uh, about a little bit less than a second, about half a second, I'd say, yeah. Is that something that you guys are really pushing towards right oh, yeah, now? yeah, definitely. It's probably our number one goal right now. Do you feel like uh, you're getting kind of the steps down, get that timing down as far as going over the hurdles? Yep, definitely. As the season goes on, you practice more, uh, you run them more often. So it feels like the more you do them, the more comfortable you get with them. And I know Audubon in here tonight kind of pushed you guys uh, as they went on, I think, and won it. Uh, what was it like knowing you had some really strong competition to run uh, against tonight? Yeah, Audubon's got a very good shoulder hurdle team. Uh, uh, I think they ran in like a minute or something like that. So it's always good to have teams like that push you, see if you can run it even faster. Talk about who ran with you and uh, what it was like uh, during your, your part of the race, during your leg. Uh, Sam Obert led it off and he did very well. And then Brandon Evans goes second, followed by Christian Hogenberg, and then I anchored at the end. Did you feel like you got out to a good start? Yep, felt like I got a good start out of the box and uh, got my steps down and felt pretty smooth gliding over. How much have you improved over the years as a hurdler, you think? Uh, I don't know, it's tough to tell, but I'm pretty sure I've gotten better every year. It's just something you kind of grow into and get used to. And, uh, just helps a lot. Four by two, the other race that's done for you tonight. Uh, how'd the four by two go? Uh, we ended up winning the four by two, which is nice. Audubon had a very good uh, four by two team. Uh, they actually helped us because, you know, they push us, which helps a lot. And uh, uh, the start was pretty well. And then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who started for you? Uh, I started, and then uh, Zach was second. Or, yeah, Zach was second, then Brandon Riley ran a very, very good third leg, and then Kaler finished it very nice. And Kaler had a really nice, strong finish. Uh, talk about what it was like when you, you saw him kind of making a move there. Oh, yeah, he's anchored it uh, probably, you know, three years for now, so he knows what it's like, and uh, he pushed himself very well, especially down the stretch, and got the lead that we wanted, and he ended up finishing it off for us, which is really nice. Four by one coming up, who's in there with you? Uh, the same people, yep. Same people, same. Same uh, order, everything? Yep, same order. Everything. How's the handoffs going right now? Fairly well. They're getting better. They're a little bit sketchy at first, but uh, we practice everything as the season goes on. Uh, they're definitely getting a lot better. All right. Well, Bubby, appreciate you joining us. Best of luck in the 4x1. Thank you.